Thank you for coming today. And my project is applying labor propagation in your machine translation. And this is me. I'm yeah, in, the, in the Jeju camp. And I major in electrical and computer engineering in Seoul National University. And I'm senior undergraduate student right now. Before introducing my project, I briefly show some uh, my presentation. Uh, first, I would like to introduce the why it is why my project is important and why why I try to solve uh, a problem, the problem, and how to solve the problem, and what is the main project. And after that, I have a discussion. Yeah. I think neural nets is as a function. Yeah, uh, neural nets are the, uh, deep learning are uh, became powerful problem server today, and it can solve many image classification, segmentation, and captioning, etc. So some someone uh, said that the neural nets are understands somewhat uh, likely humans, but I think most of your networks are mapping from surface targets. And so uh, the deep learning neural networks are very, became very powerful problem server, but to solve problem there, is, they need so many parallel data, source and target data. So what happens if it lack of data or parallel data are hard to get? Uh, it can be make overfitting, low performance in real world, and parallel data are usually hard to get because they need manual labeling or uh, it is hard to get data quality, unbiased data. Yeah, so yeah, I should make a simple example, constructing 2D sync function using neural networks. Uh, Suppose that we have the uniform, the uniform distribution, but we only have the blue label data. So, uh, yeah, I, I make using this. So, what is this data set? So what, what, do, what do you want to show this graph? Uh, I want to show just uh, when uh, we have just small data on a biased data, biased and small data, they are biased and small label data, then uh, it is very difficult to construct the real function, what we want to get. So I made using very simple three hidden, which has very three hidden layers, fully connected neural networks, and I use sigmoid cross entropy loss. And that's the result, the right one. Yeah, it is very uh, somewhat similar, but somewhat different. Different because yeah, I, I sh plot also the heat map. It it predicts about the label data very well, but actually it cannot uh, make restore the tracing function when tests in on or, or uh, all unlabeled data because the data are biased and small. Yeah, that's the problem. And how can your natural construct adequate functions without a bunch of parallel data? That's the real problem. And we know unlabeled data are prevalent. And that's a good thing to improve this problem. Yeah. Uh, first, I use semi-supervised learning technique. Uh, it, it is, which is using unlabeled data before or in training time. And it can be uh, useful because it estimates the results before inference time. Uh, the, 
we, I use semi uh, label propagation, which is a kind of semi supervised learning technique. And if you, as you can see, the image, if you have only two uh, label data, let's say uh, orange one and blue one, then uh, we can propagate these labels using their relationship between input data. So, at the end, the right one is the cost function, objective function of the label propagation. Uh, y, y is the uh, target probability estimated uh, 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 truth, truth probability and Y dash is uh, estimated probability and we can label prop uh, propagate the labels using uh, reducing their distance. Uh, yeah, and this W is weight between the inputs. This is uh, this is how to measure the uh, how how close they are. So, yeah, label propagation works well in classification problems, but uh, it is it has some problem because. If we have number of labors, uh, we we have labors that are infinite. You, you can think of about it. Uh, it the, the example is only use two labels, but if you, you have uh, infinite number of labels, then that's a real problem. How to propagate and how measure their closeness. Yeah, that's, there are some issues. How to fi figure closeness among input data and how to measure degree of propagation. <clears throat> then, is it possible to solve these issues? I did some experiments uh, during one month in Jeju. Yeah. My project is applying labor propagation in your machine translation, as I said. And yeah, neural machine translation is just a called as encoder decoder structure because it encodes variable length vector, which is sequence or sentence, to fixed length vector, and it decodes that fixed length vector to a variable length vector, which is also sequence target sentence. And neural translation model use this encoded decoder structure, and the formula is like this. It outputs uh, it output each word uh, dependent on the previous result. And there are some uh, integrating neural networks with labor propagation. There's a uh, there's called neurograph machines, which is which modify the original labor propagation uh, objective function to neural networks differentiable uh, uh, neural network loss function. And yeah, it, it the two formula is quite similar. It looks quite similar, and but there are some different. At first, we use this function as before. C is just uh, the loss function, like cross entropy, L2. And G is the neural network we want to train. And the other uh, terms are about labor propagation. Uh, D is to measure the distance between uh, inputs H <coughs> yeah, H is uh, another neural networks or another uh, linear or nonlinear function which can mapping input to 
uh, some meaningful representation. And if we uh, reduce this to distance between inputs, then uh, according to the weight, their closeness, then we can uh, uh, propagate the labels. Yeah, and I try the your graph machines in infinite labor setting because this paper uh, doesn't show the result about the infinite label, infinite number of labels, just of a cl classification domain. So I just uh, try to test for their performance in the infinite labor setting. I use l about <coughs> constructing the uh, two distinct function. And I use different similarity metrics. The, uh, at first, the, the predict value is as before. The, just using the neural networks, not using a neural graph machine. And the <coughs> next one is using uh, uh, nearest enable matri similarity metric. And it is quite better than the previous result because it makes some uh, circular results and another some more, pro, more up, uh, improved, uh, when I use some improved uh, similarity metric, then it can recover all the sync function. But yeah. And so I, I, yeah, it is somewhat di different because it is not sequence to sequence problem, but yeah, it, it is also the infinite label setting. So I can think, I think it, uh, it would be possible in sequence sequence uh, setting. So I basically, I construct the model using uh, Long's attention and two layers in core record structure with bi-directional LSTM in the encoder side. Uh, attention is just use some uh, a bunch of fixed length vector to uh, un to understand which one is important when I put some words at each time. Yeah, and I'm before I try to uh, train my model, I make a I should make graph. So I tested about some similarity metrics. At first, a sentence should be a vector. So I transfer sentences to fixed size vectors, averaging word to vec. Yeah, it, uh, for each word, I uh, mapped using word to vec and all averages all of them. And I saved it and calculate cosine similarity between those simil uh, sentence vectors, and that's the result, the table. First, uh, IP is about inner product distance, and L2 and G means Gaussian normalization, and L2 dash L2 means L2 normalization. And the second from the bottom one is cosine similarity metric, and it, its score is our most best, so I use it. And cosine similarity, because cosine similarity metric is very known to be very useful in uh, NLP, so I used it. Uh, and to make graph, I link top three closest sentences using carry near, nearest enables. And uh, the serial operation is not feasible, so I use FICE, which is uh, using GPU to para compute to, to compute parallelly the k nearest k nearest enable. And uh, this the result. I uh, yeah. I use IWSLT English Vietnamese Data Asset. This is a spoken language test set, and 
that is the research. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, yeah, I really don't understand <laughs> about the quality of the metric. But yeah, that's the original loss function in your networks, and the yellow one is the distance metric using Eurograph machine, and you can see it reduces. But yeah, it is somewhat unstable. Uh, and why it is small than its loss is small than the original loss because uh, it only measure the between the close sentences, but this uh, loss is uh, measure uh, calculate for all about different sentences, so it could be large than Eurograph machine loss. Yeah. I use IWSLT data set and it, it has uh, 133,000 parasynthesis and one, I use uh, another data set, collect 142,000 monolingual synthesis to inspect the performance of the models. And uh, I test about the different similarity metrics out to distance, Aaron and Mahalonobis distance, which is uh, which can be used in uh, this uh, measure the distance w uh, in Gaussian distribution setting. And this the table is my research. The the upper one is the benchmark result, blue score and uh, L2 loss, when I use L2 loss, it is not very good result. I think, and it, I think it is, L2 distance typically does not work well in high dimensional, and it is proven, so I use another distance matrix, and L1 is quite good result. And Malonobis distance also somewhat uh, improves somewhat better, but yeah, everyone is the gets the best result. Uh, yeah, my attempt is inspect possibility of applying label propagation to neural networks in tremendous label setting, but there are some issues. I really first, I really don't understand the Vietnamese, so I cannot. Uh, <laughs> I cannot conclude about uh, the qualitatively and the improvements, improvements of performance are not very promising, though although it improves somewhat slightly. And the hyperparameter setting is a key part for models to be trained well because uh, when I train about toy data set, uh, when I use, if I use the L2 distance metric, then it works well, but if I use uh, cross entropy loss, then it breaks the model. So, yeah, hyperparameter setting or deciding similarity metric is very, very, very useful, uh, very important, but also it is very difficult before figuring out which one is, uh, the, which one outputs the best result before training. So. I think to solve this problem, prior knowledge about data and models would be helpful. Yeah, this, thank you. And, and uh, before, <laughs> I thank my mentor, Chegyung Bae, for discussion and main support in during one month. Yeah, thank you.